what do you feel like is the is the biggest I don't know the biggest message for you on this album? What you would like to communicate to, to the people that hear it and listen to it? Wow. Well, I said it to you earlier to thine own self be true. To strive for excellence, not success. And that means it's a personal thing. It's not a it's not a statistic for me anymore. It's a sense of well-being. It's a sense of uh, knowing that I'm more than just a chick singer. And uh, to be healthy, no matter the cost. I mean, I'm, I'm trying. I've got two kids, you've got kids. I'm trying to be on the road and work out. I haven't done my hair and lips yet. And I'm just trying to learn to be patient and satisfied with where I am right now. I used to worry about how I could be better, I could do more, be smarter, thinner, richer, I, I had my babies and I realized um, they're my greatest inheritance. You know that. I don't have to, I don't have to strive anymore to be perfect. I, there's only one perfect man. And uh, I can give myself a break now and I can enjoy the journey because uh, success is not just a destination. It's what's going on all along the way. And Amy Grant once said, and I love this, that Life is what happens, you know, in between all the plans you're making, you know? Isn't that the truth? We're having goals here and there, and I love celebrations. Like tonight, I'm, I'm as, I'm real like you today, sort of up and down emotionally. I miss my kids. I'm feeling so many different emotions, but stepping onto that stage tonight will be like stepping into the light. How are you handling it? How is it working? I laugh a lot. I cry a lot, and I wake up every day, as I did this morning, and I look up and I go, oh God, um, and I put on the armor, and I go out there kicking. I just sort of, you know, hold my head up high, and I walk through the crowd feeling that I can, I will, I am, instead of wondering, oh God, you know. Mm -hmm. I just, I feel like it's an, it's, you know, attitude is, is so much a part of of what I do, and I've always had it on stage, I've had a hard time not having it off stage. And now that I have it more, because I believe in myself more, and it has nothing to do with a career, that um, I'm just satisfied being on stage now because I, I'm trusting the audience again. But here are the perks that come with some of mm -hmm. the business, here's the hard work that comes with it, and here's some of the stuff you have to deal with. Mm -hmm. So much is in the tabloids all the time. How do you take the high road? I pray uh, for coals to be heaped on their heads. Hot, steaming coals. Mm -hmm. And I try to forgive them, and it's hard. Uh, I'd like to, you know, come over to their house and stare in the windows and bug their telephones and follow them around for a while. But um, I try to be a judge, not a judge. I try to be aware of the fact that these people uh, need a life and they don't have one, so they might as well, you know, pick on me because I'm, uh, I could take it. I have a song out right now on my album that talks about take your best shot at me, buddy, because I'm bulletproof. Uh, that's my attitude. I just have to have that because sometimes I get kind of crazy as a mom, you know, when you're sticking the zoom lens in my kid's face. Mm -hmm. And I'm a protective mama. But I, it's part of the deal. You have to sacrifice something to gain something. With the great career, the two beautiful children, husband, everything, someone might say, wow, so many of your dreams have been fulfilled. Mm -hmm. What dreams are out there yet to be fulfilled? For Retiring. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I'm dreaming about that one myself. I'd like to win a lottery and be a brain surgeon. Come on. <laughs> yeah, you got Rodney cracking I'd up like on that to, one. Uh, I don't know, what do I want to accomplish? Um, I want to wake up one day and not be on a bus to hell. You know, I want to be enlightened and I want to be allowed to, to enjoy my life. I think I've already passed the 15 minute mark, folks. I'm on the last five minutes and I'm gonna enjoy them. So really, I don't make the plans like I used to. I try to live each day as it comes. I was just reading today in Matthew about don't worry about tomorrow, it takes care of itself, you know. Worry about today. <laughs> mm -hmm. So uh, that, that's that's what I'm doing right now. People wanna know plans five years from now, you know, I'm gonna, I, I've, I'm thinking of getting into boxing, you never know. Can you just imagine me in the ring? Yeah, I can. So anyway, I mean, who knows with me? I may join the circus next year, who knows? 